Okay, so for today's project, we're going to be making a Roblox pinata. But I know I did a Roblox pinata last year, but this year, my younger son, who's going to be turning eight, wants a specific blocks fruit <laughs> pinata. And that's just a game that's in Roblox. So it's just a little bit more specific. And in particular, he wanted this dough fruit. There's a bunch of fruits. Um, if I find some, actually, here's some. There's like a bunch of different fruits. They're all very cube-ish in general. So I'm it's kind of an easy theme, I guess, for me. I didn't I had no idea about this game. I could hear him talking about it, but I never played it. So but the stuff, the things in it is cute and yeah, so I can work with that. So we're gonna be trying to make a pinata of this. And I'll show you what I have. So I already painted my block or my blocks. Um my box and this is just a costco chocolate eggo waffle box it's nine by nine by nine so it's kind of like the perfect size it's actually a little bit small but there's just a few kids coming over for his birthday so it should be fine so yeah i thought it was a good box it is made out of corrugated cardboard and i had plastic tape and i just painted this a similar purple but just because it was bright yellow so i think even with the tissue it might not have covered the yellow so i did paint it with tempera paint crayola tempera paint i actually had my son help me so and he really loved it so that was fun i had to mix the red and the blue together to get a custom color because this is a not quite purple it was like red blue and white to get this color anyways he had fun with that i also i'm using an ivory because this is like a a white you could probably use white tissue paper too i just you know tried to get a, as close of a color as i could ivory and a plum color tissue both from amazon and i'll link it down below in case you're making the exact same one i don't know it's kind of specific but you can use this method to do pretty much any of these blocks fruits like if you're doing this one you would just print out like so i printed out the top that i'm going to stick on the very top and you would just print out like these things or I don't know, these blue things or this green head, you know, like it's very <laughs> customizable. And this is the eyes. I also bought some strong string from Amazon. Last time I made a pinata, it got really heavy with the candy. So you have to kind of be mindful of what you put in it. Um, last year, I used a Truly box and that was made to hold like 30 cans of you know drinks so that was pretty strong so just you know be mindful of the kind of box you're gonna have and how much weight it can carry and i just have some extra cardboard to maybe add some strength to the top when we're gonna put the cord in so let's start on the tissue paper part so i'm just gonna reference this photo i think we're just gonna do some purple on the bottom and then do like varying little rows of the cream just to, I guess, mimic the the drips of it. So these are like, I think half sheets of tissue paper. They're on the smaller side. Like this is 19 by 14. And this, this other one is like twice as big. So I'll just take two sheets of that for now. Last time I did it, I didn't like strips three inch strips so i think because this is a smaller box i might do two and a half inch strips i'll fold it let just fold it in half and what is this about three inches And then I'm going to just create the fringe by cutting half an inch, halfway through the tissue paper. And then I'm just going to separate a layer. Maybe I'll do the bottom first. So for the bottom, let's see, I'm going to pick a front. That'll be good. So I will pick maybe the side to be the front. It really doesn't matter, but I will go ahead and start gluing this. 
and through the bottom. So the tissue paper has like a shiny side and a matte side usually. This one doesn't really, but they usually do. So I would just go like this and So just gonna add glue to the back of this. And stick it on. You can make it stick out a little bit if you want. It's the bottom though, so no. So just glue it on in layers. So I'm just gonna finish up the bottom and come back. And for the very last one, because I kind of wanted to have fringe all the way to the end, I'm going to just trim it off. So this is the front. So the, the tissue paper kind of works out perfectly where this is like nine inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this around and I can do two sides at once. So I'm making it overhang a little bit so that when it's outside, it kind of like flops around a little bit. So I'm going to continue to do it all the way up like to here. And then I think it, we're going to start with ivory. Okay, so I finished the sides completely on all four sides. And now we're going to focus on the top. And before we do the ivory paper, we kind of have to plan for the cord and the reinforcement for the cord. So this is a 550 pound weight paracord. So I'm guessing it'll hold up. And I just cut it extra long. Like this is probably like five, six feet of cord, just because I don't know how long my husband's gonna like hang it from the pole. And yeah, longer is always better. So what I'm planning to do is make two holes. So I did already poke one right here and I'm going to probably just poke one right here with a screwdriver. So it was very easy to make those holes, right? So I don't feel like it's going to hold super well. I might get some packing tape actually and reinforce it. Actually, I have this like random checkerboard duct tape. That'll do. It was right here. So I'll just use that for now. I just need a little bit. So I'm just going to put it in the back of the hole. And we do the hole through the tape. I don't know. That just makes me feel better about it. Having the tape. If you want it to look nice, just poke it through this way and it looks a little bit better. And then now I'm going to get this reinforcement box. This is just some thinner cardboard. As you can tell, I love to go to Costco. And I'm just going to get a pen. I'll use this purple one since I have it and it won't mess up the box. I'm going to put it underneath. Maybe it's a little... It's a little long. I'm going to trim it up just a tiny bit. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the two spots and I want the box to be kind of close because that's how I'm going to make it when I'm finished. Hopefully that showed up. Okay, yeah. So right here and right here. And the weight of the pinata totally depends on what you're going to put inside. If you're putting like little toys, it's a lot lighter. If you're putting stuff like skittles it gets heavier i'm doing kind of like a mix of like little candy some bigger candies and robux gift cards so it's i'm guessing it's going to be about 30 no not 30 pounds like maybe 15 10 to 15 pounds so i'm just going to plan for it to be like this and then go up to here I'm going to string this through. I wonder if this will work. So paracord has to like string inside the cord. It's interesting. I wonder if this little, this plastic needle will work. This came with the decor set I bought that was also blocks fruits. 
so cute like i'm just amazed that they had it so i'm gonna go straight up to oh, it's kind of when you have it double like that it needs to be a little bit bigger all right i'm gonna go down through and up so down through here because i want the long ends to stick out from the top this might be good enough it's because it's melted i think you could just go through that's a lot easier so this is how it's gonna be when it's all finished i'm gonna put tape on the inside okay now that that's done we can do the ivory part it's now it gets a little bit harder so i we have to kind of work upwards i think I and mean, we might be able to stick some ivory papers in afterward but i think for the most part we're going to be working up to the top so the top layer is going to be solid of course but as it goes down we're going to want some drippy looking parts so i'm just going to cut some small pieces so maybe have it like this right where or opposite way where it's like the drip right so that looks like a drip if that makes sense so i'm just going to do a few of these maybe three in the front i think this is the easiest way to pre-make the drippy part so if i count three and then i'll do like four fringes and then five fringes and actually we could probably glue them together i'm going to just going to use some a glue stick so it doesn't get too messy Yeah, that looks like a drip, right? And then we're going to have like the wider one go over. So I'm just going to make maybe like nine of these, ten of these, and then start the rest. I started getting carried away. So these are, I made 12 of the little drips using the three, four, five pattern. So I'm just putting these on the side. And now I'm just kind of doing a mock-up. So this is the picture. Um... I'm cutting out the eyes because this this color doesn't match the ivory. So I'm just cutting it out. It's like, oh no, I forgot to film this part just in case you guys are doing the exact same thing. And I don't know if I mentioned, I just pu pulled this graphic off the internet. Just typed in blocks, fruits, dough fruit, and that's what I got. So the eyes look like this. So it's because it has to be on the ivory part so it's going to be like that so i'm thinking i'm thinking i gotta move it down a little so i went kind of high with the purple but just so that it's covered for sure and i'm gonna move the ivory down it'll be a little messy for this part but so there'll be another ivory and then i'll have the eyes like this you're close enough okay <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna start gluing down and now i'll just use the regular glue because i think this will hold better in the long run and you could do three or four drips it looks like there's four in the front but i don't even, i don't know i'll just do three and then this one, oh, this one also goes all the way to the side or will cover two sides at once. So maybe I have to do this side first. And if you guys are making other fruits, I actually just have fun with it. It doesn't have to be exact like um, the photo, you know? I think the kids will like it. Okay, so I'm just going to do a long strip. I know sometimes I just make... A simple project super long and tedious just because I'm get too like caught up in the details when really nobody else cares <laughs> especially my kids they are not I don't know they're happy with whatever which is nice actually no I would say my older son is pretty like if it's something it has to be like not perfect but he doesn't like it when things don't match 
or look right. Okay. So I'm just going to continue doing this for the rest of the box and I'll just do the other two sides and then put the eyes on after. Oh, and I wanted to add for the top one, top layer, I'm going to cut it so that it's shorter. Like this wide part is shorter and the, so the fringe is closer to the top. And one other thing I really liked is that I went closer with the fringe for the top and I think it adds like a different dimension, you know, like I went kind of wide over here, but this one is like more full. I feel like that looks better. Nobody's going to know or care, but in case you're a crazy person like me, I feel like that adds like a little bit dimension. So I'm going to just cut off about half an inch just so that the fringe stays together. And I still have a spot to glue but it's a little bit higher. Otherwise, there's going to be a space up there. And I'm going to go just a tiny bit higher, just so the purple is not peeking through. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other two sides and come back. And I have this like extra part. I'm just folding it over. It's better to have it fold over like this than to have a empty space. So all the sides are done. Now we're just going to do the top and I'm just going to be filling in some gaps. So this first one, I'm just going to put um, some right here just so that you can't see the purple. You just have to measure. Just like that. And I'm going to do one on the other side. And then for the top, we're going to just layer it up like the other part. It's just being mindful of this hole right here. I think I can pretty much cut these in half. I'm probably going to do it like thicker like I did these the sides also. Just so it for sure covers the purple paint. So it's going to hang off the edge a little bit, which is fine. And I want it to hang off this edge a little bit. And so the part that's going to go around there, I'll just cut. Yeah. I use like this piece. And then the next one shouldn't bother it. Yeah, it can just go right through. So I'm just going to go all the way to the top with this one. I'll probably, you know, cut it short again so that it goes, the fringe goes a little bit higher and do the other side too. Okay, I finished and I think it looks super good. So I just did a little slip knot on the top to keep the box closed, but the top looks super good. I don't see any purple and so I'm picking the front side, the side that looks nicest and I'm going to glue on the eyes. If you can see it's a little, it's kind of in the middle, I guess. When I printed this out, I did print it to be nine inches wide. Just if you're going to do something like this. So the proportion of the printout should be pretty decent to the actual thing but you know whatever this is a box that kids are going to hit with a stick so don't even worry about it <laughs> if it's not perfect just you know maybe put the eyes I thought it was gonna go like that but actually it goes like this okay so front is done the next thing I'm gonna do is I made this thing I used like this, there was an extra of these little cards in the set I bought from Amazon. So I just put eighth and I got some glue right there. But yeah, I put eighth and I put his name. I put it, I stuck it on a blank or old cardstock. I'm going to put this on the back because 
there wasn't that much decoration so I, I don't know just add something else to it so like that right just gonna glue this on I'm gonna put a lot of glue because it has to kind of go through the tissue paper another thing to consider when you are making your own pinata is so I have a it's for my son's eighth birthday and it has some of his like baseball friends and he also plays baseball so they're gonna hit it hard so um you want it to be pretty sturdy but if you're say you're making it for little kids then you're gonna want to adjust that you're gonna want to make it easier so that you're not wasting like an hour like just hit it make a dent in it right okay so i cut out this top part like i said i printed this out one um two on cardstock and i just cut it out cut it out i just cut them out and i mirrored it so what i mean by mirrored is i did two printouts and they're facing each other so that i would get you know mirrored tops it's like a cricket kind of thing, term i guess and what i'm gonna do is i left a little tab on the bottom i'm gonna glue this to right here and then once i close it i'll glue this these together right it's all about the details right so i want it to go this way facing that way like the photo and glue it like this i wonder if i should actually tape it you should tape it you do not have to use duct tape just fyi i just had this because after this i'm going to be making the stick i think i might have to do it a separate video it's just taking a long time so maybe i should glue and duct tape okay so i'm going to close this side make sure it lines up pretty good okay so once i fill it up i will then glue this together so it's like a 3d model of a tofu yeah i think it turned out really good like I said, I'm going to put candies. Maybe I, should, I could do it now. Let me go grab the stuff. Okay, so I have all my things that I'm going to put in the pinata. So I have 10 $10 Robux gift cards. There's like, I think, eight kids coming. So hopefully they all get one, some lucky kids, maybe two. Hopefully they'll be fair and like, you know, not one person will just get off. I have some random balls that I have left over from other things. A glow beach ball, like three of those. Um, some of my, my son's favorite kind of candies. He loves these. And ring pops. Some jelly belly beans. These Asian candies and soda candies. And I also have these water balls. I have another prize going on where I have um. If I can find a photo, I'll show you or I'll insert it. It's like these blocks, fruits like these, like little squishmoles or what do you call them? Like stuffed animal things. And I don't want to pick which one to give them. So I think I'm just going to kind of do a raffle and have them hopefully each get one of these. And then by what number it is, they can go pick from there unfortunately these things like even though this is a sticker it just doesn't stick to it so i have to squish them i think so it'll stay in there so she when they hit it like it's gonna pop open and the number's gonna fly out and then no one's gonna find it it's either that or easter eggs but since i have these out i guess i might as well use these how i usually like layer it i just like kind of randomly grab so this is like the biggest prize. I'll put maybe like two on the bottom layer. Two of these. Big and you don't really want to do too much chocolate, I think, in a pinata because it gets beaten up. Assorted jelly beans. I'm just gonna spread it around. Throw some balls in each ball, and and cut it 
kind of just repeat the process. I guess it doesn't really matter since they're going to just run and grab whatever anyway. I have to say this is a pretty good pinata. I just hope they don't fight over the gift cards. I do have some extra. So just like, you know, in case some kids don't get any, you can give them one after. That's a ton of candy for like eight kids. Okay, so now I'm going to close it up and glue this top part together. So I just have some clear packing. I'm going to fold it over and attach it to each other and put it underneath. And then I'm going to glue this top part. Should I use it? Maybe I need to tape it on the top. It's not going to look as nice, but I don't know. Let's see. I didn't want to just because it doesn't look as nice, but I don't want it to open either. Okay, and now we're done. So thanks for watching. I'll have some other, um, I guess, fruit blocks kind of type crafts. Hopefully I have time to film it. Um, and I'm also going to make the stick too. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.